Well, the New Zealand Dance Company proudly presents one of its most sought after and celebrated programs, Lumina, which will be touring to all new venues around New Zealand next month. And we've been lucky enough to nab artistic director Shona McCullough and dancer Chrissy Corkery just ahead of their Paris and Liverpool shows. Welcome you two. Yes. Thank you. Um, lovely to have you both in the studio. Shona, let's start with you. Tell us a little bit about this work, Lumina. What's it all about? Well, I've always been really interested in the idea of using moving media with dance. I have a background in filmmaking. So I wanted to commission three works that looked at the integration of the projection of media and dance. And so the three works all kind of belong to a world that is about the intersection of light and image with the movement, but they're all very different, aren't mm. they, Chrissy? Yeah. yeah, and Chrissy, tell me more about how it unfolds on stage, so to speak. How it unfolds. Okay, so there's, yeah, like Sharon said, three works. The first work that's choreographed by um, Stephen Shropshire, he's from Holland, he's an international choreographer. That work's super classical, I would say quite balletic um, and very like sharp, precise kind of movements with just three dances. Um, and then we go into the second work, which is more of like, it has more of a cultural aspect to it. We do a lot of improvisation in that work. And then the last one is very highly physical. Um, and I think it's like the crowd pleaser because we just kind of keep going and it's relentless. It's and it's the big dance it's the, section it's the, of the it's work. It's the finale, it's the crowd pleaser. So you've got three different um, choreographers shown. Are they quite different? Yeah, they are. Um, actually, this is the first um, production the company have done in co-production with an international festival, which was um, a really exciting thing to develop. A lot of um, our wonderful New Zealand choreographers are used by a lot of New Zealand companies, and I really wanted to challenge the dancers and bring in someone from a completely different background, and certainly Chrissy found Stephen very challenging to work for. He, he uh, was quite demanding, wasn't yeah. he? Yeah. yeah. What and sort of thing did he want? I think, well, I'm not classically trained, so it was very different to the way I move. Um, and he was very precise and exact about what he wanted. And I, I just found it hard, to be honest. But I also, he was really awesome because he pushed me a lot until I felt like I could do it well enough. And now we've done the show a few times, so I feel like I sit really well with that work now. And yeah, it's a bit Did you go home and cry in the shower a few times? <laughs> no, I cried at work. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I did. I honestly did. It's so embarrassing, but... No, that means you're passionate about yeah. it. And, you know, and, and on that, you know, you mentioned that New Zealand choreographers are well sought after around the world. What makes New Zealand such a good breeding ground for dancers, do you think? Shona, maybe you can answer that first. Look, um, yeah, New Zealand dancers are world renowned. Um, and we have something about the way that we um, move and kind of connect with um, the land. I think we're really influenced by our geography. I think we're also influenced by culture. We have a very percussive kind of rhythmic um, oral world that we're all familiar with mm. and, and work with. Um, we're really good at getting in and out of the floor. Mm. Uh, the difference between, honestly, Australian dancers and New Zealand, they're just worlds apart and you would never think that. Um, and I, I like to think about the fact that Australia is such a big open landscape and they work much more with their upper body in sort of in an aerial way and New Zealand dancers You're are kind grounded. of like awesome rugby players. We're down yeah. dirty with the ground. <laughs> yeah, and, and people notice it and they, you know, there's amazing dancers pl planted in companies all over the world and one of the reasons I wanted to start the New Zealand Dance Company was I felt that New Zealand audiences deserve to see these great dancers mm. and to stop them having to go and leave and get work overseas. So now th this program has been performed, what, for three years uh, in New yeah. Zealand? Mm. And Germany, uh, the Holland Dance Festival. Has it changed and developed or is it still the same? No, the choreography is, is the same. I think the dancers have developed and as Chrissy was saying, she's gone from being someone who would be really challenged by the work to now really feeling that she can nail it. And, and again, that's a, a, a great thing for dancers in a company to get to perform a work mm. more than one season. You know, in the old days you'd put all of this work and energy into creating a performance and you do it three times and then it would never happen again. And um, I don't know what you feel about that, having the chance to kind of revisit work. Yeah, no, that's awesome. 
it's like it shows progress I think for us we can look back and see how far we've come as well. And do you use with the three separate dancers different dances for every section or do the same dancers do one or two or even three of the sections? Uh, well the first work there's only three of us that perform that work and then everyone else does the other two. So oh, and, and do you have a favourite? Um, <laughs> Oh, it changes all the time. At the okay, moment, good. I'm really loving the first work that I was talking about, the one that was super challenging, and I think be purely because now I feel like yeah. I sit really well with it and because I, enjoy, you've I enjoy doing and you've mastered it. it. I think so, yeah. Mm. It's rewarding when you've found it really challenging and now you really love to perform it. Are you excited about going to Europe? Yeah, I'm excited. I can't wait. Saturday. Yeah. And, um, and, yeah, and I just wanted to try and get my head around the word Lumina. Mm. Why did you call it that? Is it because it uses a lot of light? on stage, is that what it's all about? Well there's actually two meanings to that word, one is a unit of light yes. and the other interestingly is it's, it's a, a cavity in a body so I thought it was a really great title for a season that was all about light and body so it just lucked out you know, oh, yeah. with the definition. It looks, yeah. looks high energetic as well and uh, I'll show that I'll definitely come and see, looks fun. Cool. Looks like awesome. there's more people into dance than what you might think too, yes. I can get a few newcomers coming along. Oh, <laughs> Thank you both very much for joining yeah, us. Thanks. Thanks. Lumina tours to all new venues around New Zealand next month. You can check out the New Zealand Dance Company website for ticket details. Yeah, you will not be disappointed. <laughs>